Okay, now the class is recording, so let's start. Okay, good evening, students. Today we are going to start with a new material, the Greater Reader. Now, the name of this book is Kidnapped. Okay, well, it's not a real book, no, it's an adaptation. It's a short version because, you know, sometimes novels are very long. In case we are going to just work with. If you see, we are going to work with 10 chapters. You see? Chapters. Okay? So before we start, um, we, we have to know some things. No? For example, the name of the book is this, Kidnapped. The author, the person who wrote the book, tell me, who is the person who wrote the book? Who is... No one? The author. El autor. Who is the author of this book? Lewis. Yeah, Robert Louis Stevenson. Yeah, he is the author of the real book, as I told you. This is an adaptation. H.Q. Mitchell. Okay, it's a short version. If you pay attention to the material, we have to know some things in this part. Um, as I told you, it has 10 chapters, okay? Son 10 capítulos. Capítulo in English is a chapter. We have 10 chapters, okay? And of course, for each chapter, for each chapter, we have activities. Susana, good evening. Maribel, good evening. Welcome. Okay? Para cada capítulo tenemos actividades. Okay? El, el propósito del reader no es tanto entender cada palabra que tú encuentras en el texto. De eso no se trata. Se trata de que cuando tú leas tengas una idea más o menos general de qué está pasando. Reconozcas personajes, reconozcas hechos ¿no? que estén pasando, lugares. La idea de un texto en inglés es eso. Repito, no es que entendamos todo lo que diga. No. ¿Ok? So, we are going to continue, okay? A veces vamos a necesitar el uso de un traductor o de un vocabulario para entender algunas palabras, okay, que vamos a encontrar en el texto. Let me see. Reina, good evening. Welcome to the class. All right. Ustedes ya tienen el material que les he enviado. Son tres capítulos, ¿no? Pero vamos a empezar, obviamente, por orden, ¿no? Vamos a hacer el primer capítulo, chapter one, y después las actividades de chapter one. Chapter two, actividades de chapter two, y así. ¿Ok? Repito, el, el propósito no es saber todo lo que digas, no necesariamente. Si tienes alguna duda, una palabra, la puedes buscar en un diccionario. ¿Ok? Ajá. Como les dije, el propósito es identificar personajes que son characters en English, characters, ¿no? Lugares, sucesos, qué está pasando. Una idea general nada más, no necesariamente tal cual. Y lo otro es que desarrollemos la habilidad de leer, o sea, que seamos capaces de buscar información en un texto rápidamente, ¿no? Cosa que sí ustedes lo aplican porque lo hacen bien en los exámenes, en algunos ejercicios, ¿no? Lo que tenemos que hacer también es mejorar esa, esa capacidad de leer, de identificar información de lo que necesito, nada más buscarla rápidamente para desarrollar las actividades. Eso nos va a ayudar que cuando más adelante hagamos exámenes, pues no nos tome mucho tiempo, ¿no? Ok. So, let's start with this. As I told you, this is the name Kidnapped. You have the material, so let's listen to chapter one. Ok. Just listen, you follow, no? You follow the text while you're here, okay? Listen, please. Yes. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. 
Necesito compartir de otra manera, ¿ok? Let's see, let's see. Ok, now listen please. Now you are going to hear. ¿Es esto ok? Ok, ya, yeah, listen please. Okay, now let's continue with the next page. This is listen, just listen, okay? Okay, one more, listen. Same. And the last page, okay? This is the last. Because then is the chapter. Oh, then is the chapter two. Two pages more, okay? Two pages more. Yeah, listen.
Now, one more, okay? This is the last page. Listen. Okay, this is the chapter one. Now, tell me please the name of the characters you see in this chapter one. O sea, ¿qué personajes han identificado? Okay, just tell me the names. For example, he is the main character, yes? What is the name of the main character? Yeah, very good, Gabriel Belfort. Good, this is one character. Main character means principal character. Yeah? Other, other character. My mother. Uh, yeah? Yeah, Mrs. Campbell. Uh, miss, uh, let's see, what is that? It's not a Mrs. Campbell is not a, a, a mother. Campbell is, uh, let's see, mm, what is this? Yeah, tell me, the mother, no? His mother. Yeah, good. David Belfort, his mom, another. Mr. Campbell, Mr. Campbell is the priest. El señor Campbell es un priest. Do you know what's priest? Aha, es un sacerdote. Yeah, priest, very good. It's, it's a character, yes. Another character that appeared here in the story. What is this, the other character? What is the name of this man? Very good, very good. Is is David Ancol? No, the name is Ebenezer. Ebenezer Belfort. You see, has the same last name. He is David Belfort. He is Ebenezer Belfort. You see, they are family. Good. Okay, we identified the characters good now tell me in which city or in which country happens this story this chapter one in the united states in texas in london in paris in which city 
Very good. It's called man. Okay. This is the place now where the story develop. Scotland, yes. His village in Scotland. Good. Okay, another question. David lived with his mom. Why? Why? What is the reason David leave his house and went to this other house, the Shaw's house? Why? Why did he visit this house? What happened it before? ¿Por qué va a visitar esa otra casa? La casa de Shaw House, que dice. Ah, excellent. Yes, he's this bar, no? My father died some years ago. Also here, no? My mom is dead, she says. Okay, let's see. My mo And now my mother is dead too. Very good. And how did he discover he has a, a family, a family member there? ¿Cómo descubre que tiene un familiar vivo? How? Is it this? Yeah, excellent. That is, that is the idea. Because the priest Campbell, Campbell the priest, he had a letter. And he gave this letter to David. Say, all I know, David, is that you have the same name as their old family. It's Shaw's house, Belfort, see? So David read the letter and he decided to visit uh, his uncle, no? So he traveled and he looked for the Shaw's house. And he met his uncle. Yeah, very good, excellent. Como les dije, chicos, lo importante no es entender cada palabra. No, tener una idea general nada más. Okay? Now, we are going to read one more. Ah, si tienen alguna pregunta pues, de alguna palabra que quieran saber, normal preguntamos para poder conocer y incrementar nuestro vocabulario. ¿no? For example, tell me, tell me what word you don't know. Properly, mm, what in, I don't know in what part is, but properly means propiamente, correctamente, right, properly. Okay, another, for example, maybe this uh, I found here, no? She spat on the ground and walked away. ¿Qué es spat? Es el pasado del verbo spit, escupir. She spat on the ground and walked away. Es la mujer que conoce, ¿no? En el, en el curso. She screamed, gritó. And when you go, you can tell the master, ¿no? Mr. Ebenezer Belfort. Dile, le dice, ¿no? Jenny, que yo Jenny, Clauston, curse him. Curse him means uh, lo maldigo. O sea, obviamente no le cae bien, ¿no? Curse him. She spat on the ground and walked away. Because angry, ¿ve? She was she was looking, or she looked at him angrily. I don't know why we don't know why, because in the chapter one, we don't know much. So let's go to the activities, okay? Let's go. De lo poco que hemos visto, de la poca información que tienes en el texto, help me, okay? Help me to answer this. One, tell me, one volunteer, please, tell me, true or false? Okay, Susana, read please, read. Both. Yeah, excellent. His mom, dead. His father, dead. Excellent. The number two, please, another. Oh, read please the sentence, read. David.
false. Very good. Will live, y remember, will es futuro, ¿no? ¿Vivirá with a priest? No, false, excellent. Another student, please, the number three. Tell me, Reina or Silvana, tell me, tell me, what is the number three, true or false? Tell me, the priest, oh, excellent, yeah, it's true. The priest gave David a letter from his mom, yes. Before she dead, it's here, no? When your mother feels sick, cuando se enfermó, she let me, his, this, uh, she let me this letter for you, see, good. Another, please. Number four, tell me. Bible, Bible. Yeah, this is Bible. You know what's the Bible, yes? The Biblia, yes. Because it's a priest, you know, you see? Campbell, the priest, gave David a small Bible and a silver coin. Yeah, true. And finally, please, tell me the last. Excellent. Teacher, what says willing and happy? Estuvieron deseosos y felices de decirle, ¿no? Willing and happy? No, no, the people were. In the other hand, the people were, it says here, angry. David stood on a hill, stood as a stand up, no, stood the pass, looking down on the great city of Edinburgh. He asked the way to Cramont, and when he got there, he began asking people how to get to Shadow House. No, excuse, excuse me, where is Shadow uh, House? Other person, excuse me, where is Shadow House? But everyone, all the people, looked at him strangely, strangely, and seemed unwilling to talk about the house. You see? We don't know why. Maybe, the, I don't know. Let's wait to the other chapters, okay? Yeah, good. It's false. Excellent. Activity B. Let, help me to complete this, okay? David, therefore, what is the correct option? Excellent. He lived it in Scotland. Good. Another student, please. Yeah, a packet, a package, a letter, no? Very good. Number three. Master. And one more uh, course, the, war, the, the master of Shadow House. Yeah, very good. Yes, not too happily, no? Yes, curse the master. No, I curse you, says no, Ebenezer. That's good. Number four, tell me, please. What is the correct option? Yeah. Yes, letter B was David Sanko. Teacher, what is kind man? You know what's kind? Teacher, a kind person, or si alguien te dice, you are kind, what it means? Kind is the opposite of root. Amable, una es una persona amable, kind, special, no, kind. It's not like that, no, because if we, we saw here, no, uh, David says this, no, David says this, uh, let's see what it is. Mm, oh, it's in this part, no? Mm, what's this? Mm. It says, no, David became angry too. Uncle, you treat me badly and you see you don't trust me. He says that, no? See? It's not a kind person, his uncle. Good. And finally, five.
Wish for David? No, this is kind, ¿no? Eso sería amable de su parte, pero no. O sea, pero está en la última parte ya, ¿no? Acá, aquí, aquí está. Ya, yeah, he says that, ¿no? What is this? Um, uh, let's see. See, it's here, no? His uncle had decided to stay because he didn't want to leave him alone in the house. So, no quería dejarlo solo en la casa. Why? We don't know. Let's wait to the second chapter. You see? But this is the correct. He didn't trust in David. No? No confía en, en, bueno, en su sobrino, no? In this case. Yeah, activity C, okay, one more. Let's complete this sentence, the same. You know what's interesting, yes? Interesting, spring, do you know spring? Tell me, tell me, what is a spring? Good, sat. What is sat? Yeah, very good, and angrily. Ya, yeah. e -e enojadamente. Recuérdense cuando termina en L y es un adverbio. Happily, felizmente. Beautifully, hermosamente. Angrily, enojadamente. Ya, yeah. angrily. Puzzled. Puzzled. Is similar to in shock. Ok, it's very similar. Well, not exactly, no, but it's similar. Es perplejo. Ah, puzzle es rom rompecabezas, sin la D, pero como está con ED es un adjetivo. Perplejo, asombrado, uh -huh. desconcertado también, ¿no? House, you know what's house. What is porridge? It's a food, it's a kind of food. What is porridge? No idea. Yeah, that is porridge. From potatoes, no? Well, not exactly potatoes, but it's like that. Porridge. Okay, let's complete this sentence with the vocabulary, okay? Tell me, please. Jamie was at Hans' strange behavior at last night's party. Behavior means comportamiento, ¿no? Hans' strange behavior. Mm, Alexa, please, sad. It's an emotion, yeah, but Jimmy was puzzled. Yeah, could be. Strange behavior, ¿no? He normally didn't behave like that, but last night, He made something. He did something. Number two, Eric and Jessica have just moved in their new have moved. Very good. Moved, remember, is mudarse. Have moved in the new house. Three, last night I watched a very documentary on global warming. Very good. Mrs. Davis started the children because they were very noisy in class. The children were very noisy in class. Mrs. Davis is a teacher, I guess. Stared, it means stared means saw, vio a los niños. O le dio una mirada. Because the the they were very noisy in class. Angrily, yeah. The miss was angry, and that was he stared angrily. Five. After his dog went missing, Grant was very mm. 
Dice, después de que su perro desapareciera, Grant, ah, we were very sad, missing, no, it's missing, disappeared. My most favorite season is the spring, very good. Mr. Anderson always has for breakfast. He says it's very healthy. Porridge, no? Mr. Anderson always has porridge for breakfast. He says it's very healthy. Good. You see, we have to know more words like puzzle. Okay? Or like angrily. Remember, this is a uh, an adverb. Or purge, no? Also is a it's a food, a kind of food. Okay? And to finish with a chapter one. Find the words in chapter one to match the definition below. The first letter has given to you. Okay. Um, este tipo de ejercicios vas a encontrar en evaluaciones internacionales. ¿Qué se hace acá? Dice que busques una palabra, una palabra que es sinónimo de la que está acá, o es la definición de lo que está acá. Pero esa palabra aparece en el libro, en el texto. Por ejemplo, a small town. ¿Qué palabra que está en el capítulo 1, que empieza con V? Biatch. Very good. It's biatch. Good. A round, round, the round is like circle, no? A circle, round, shaped, metal piece, use it as money. Another pounds means libras, no? But with C. The priest gave to David a Bible and a... en las actividades anteriores que vimos es en esta parte well, well, not in this part in this part, no tiene cuatro letras it's with C coin, very good coin, very good Maribel that is, a coin Coin is a round shaped metal piece used as money. Yes? Se utiliza como moneda. Como dinero. Three. The capital city of Scotland. Also mentioned here huh? in the reader. Oh, sorry. Here. It's mentioned. Very good. Edinburgh. Okay? He mentioned this part. No? Oh, where is this part? I was. I read this before. Where is this part? It's in Scotland. The story happens in Scotland, no? So, now where is this part? Oh, come on. Edinburgh. I don't remember exactly how do you spell it. You see, it's here. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Oh. Edinburgh. Burg. I guess it's like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, Edinburgh. Yeah. Edinburgh. For a small gang, a small gang held with one hand. Mm, I don't know this. What is this? A small gang held with one hand. A small gang. Held with one hand. With P, start with P. Do you have ideas? Even for me, it's a difficult word. I don't know. I don't remember read that part. Let's see. Oh, that is is here. Pistol, yeah, that is pistol. That is an ugly and pleasant old woman. Is a witch. It's a woman, an ugly woman. But it's related more to magic, no? To to curse, to potions, for magic potion, but a witch, una bruja, 
Now that's this. Because Bang is showing here the, the map. Okay. The, the last two activities is for you, okay? The last two activities go. Well, in this platform, in esta plataforma, tú tienes que escribir letra por letra, ¿no? But for you, you, you can do it at home. Y les va a ayudar mucho a que, a, que, a que te fijes cómo se escribe cada palabra, ¿no? Palabras que conozcas. ¿Ok? Ya, yeah, this is the chapter one. ¿ve? Como has visto, no es necesario conocer todo lo que diga exactamente el texto. No es necesario. La idea es entender más o menos de qué trata. ¿Ya? Porque no es necesario, como les dije, saber todo. Solo sucesos importantes. Lugares, nuevos personajes. ¿Ok? So let's continue with the chapter 2. ¿Ok? Let's listen, please. You follow me with your maturity. Listen, please. Yeah, listen.
Okay, now let's listen. Yeah, let's listen. Yeah, I see. We are understanding now what's happening in the story. Yeah, one more. Listen.
Mm, do you understand the story? What happened? Yeah, and this part finished the chapter two. Tell me a new character who appears in this part. A new character, a new character. Un nuevo mm, personaje que aparezca en el character en el chapter two. Who is? Tell me. Ebenezer is his uncle. Un nuevo, un nuevo personaje que aparezca. The captain of a ship. What is the name of the captain? What, mister? Kaylor, what is from Kaylor? Oh, no, Mr. Ron Kaylor is a lawyer. It's, it's not, well, it's a, it's a character, but it's not principal. The captain is this, no? Uh, the captain, Hossison. This. The captain, Hossison, appear in this bar. Okay? So, what else? Oh. In the chapter two, okay, let's see. Mm, well, something. Oh, what did his uncle, no, Mr. Belfort, Ebenezer Belfort, gave to David? He gave some money, yeah? How much was it? How much money was it? Le dio algo de dinero, no? ¿Qué le dio? How, how much? It's in this part, it's in this part, uh, until the end, I guess. I saved money for you right from your beard after all this time. This has grown to how much? 40 pounds. Okay, you know what's pounds, yes? Libras, no, 40 pounds. Well, then we have an incident with a chest. No le pide que traiga un cofre, no, de un lugar peligroso, dangerous thing. And he tried to kill me, you know, what says, no? What are you hiding from me? And why did you try to kill me? He says to his uncle, no? Okay. Then the boy came with a letter with this captain. Okay. So the next day they went to the harbor to talk with the captain, Captain Hosison. Okay. And then happens as you see, no? What happened at the end? Do you understand this part? ¿Cómo termina este capítulo 2? ¿Entendieron más o menos cómo termina? Tell me, yes or no? Okay. Yeah, well, you see, um, they... Mm, lo que pasa es que le engañan a David. Bueno, su tío le engaña, ¿no? Así como ves, le hace ver el barco, pero al final creo que no le estaba haciendo ver el barco, sino lo había vendido al capitán. Por eso es que al final dice, the boy felt a blow to his head and he fell down. Y se desmayó. The old man, the Ebenezer, smiled cruelly at David. Le sonrió cruelmente. Porque lo había vendido. The captain says, uh, your uncle says good things about you. Tu tío me contó cosas buenas de ti. See? That's what he says. Huh? Okay, let's go to the activities, okay? To, to have some, some ideas more clearly. Let's see, activities. Yeah. One day, one day, David was... What is the correct option? One day, David was... Tell me, tell me, Davis was David? No. 
David was his anchor? No. David was angry. Yes. One day David was angry because Renesser tried to kill him. Le intentó matar con el cofre, ¿no? Porque le hizo subir una torre. Las gradas estaban muy casi rotas y casi se cae, ¿no? Es lo que le dice. Try to kill him. Yeah, good. Ebenezer asked. Pidió, le preguntó. What? Yeah, very good. That is. Ask David to collect a chest from the tower. Le pidió que trajera un cofre de la torre. Y ahí es donde casi se cae y se muere, ¿no? Pero se molesta. Yeah. Okay. David felt very... Oh, we did the incorrect option. This is David was looking. This is was looking through Ebenezer's collection of books. Was looking. Estaba mirando los libros. Is this? I'm oh, sorry. This. One day, David was looking through Ebenezer's collection of books. You see, it's in the first part. One day, David was looking through Ebenezer's collection of books. David felt very angry because Ebenezer tried to kill him. David Lockett. Lockett means es echar el candado, ¿no? Cerrar con cerradura. David Lockett. His uncle in his room. You see, lo encerró a su tío. Because he was very angry. And he tried to kill him, so... To be safe, lock at his uncle in his room. Ebenezer and David see Captain Hosey. And they, it says, no, the next day, it says, no, tomorrow morning, we are going to go to see the captain. And I am going to explain you everything, he says, no. But this was. It was an excuse. Fue una excusa nada más, ¿no? De eso. ¿Ok? One more, ¿ok? One activity more. Let's see. To finish. Oh, ¿no see? Let's use this and let's change to adverbs. He was walking through the park when it... He was walking through the park when it... Yeah, suddenly, when it's sad, oh, sorry, suddenly. Mary is only five, but she can read. The woman said, what is the adverb of proud? Proud, proudly, yes, orgullosamente, proudly. Three, it is very to walk around alone at night. It's very dangerous, yes. Warren has a lot of... Oh, in this case, it's unfinished. Unfinished work to do and will go into the office early tomorrow so he can complete it. Five, Amy was very confusing or confused? Confused, feel very confused. Se sentía muy confundida with the instructions she was giving. Mr. Jackson is a great teacher and very helpful, very helpful. Okay, my friends. Today we are going to stop here, okay? If you have some problems, as I said, you can read one more time the story. Pueden intentar leer un poco más la historia, pero no, no hay mucho en ese capítulo 2. Ya, no, no, no se ven muchas cosas que pasen. No hay muchos datos importantes. Bueno, solo que va al, 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 al puerto y hace, hace, le hace creer ¿no? Que, que no le va a pasar nada, pero en realidad le había vendido al capitán. Por eso es que al final lo golpean y se queda ahí, ¿no?